What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel, Aromatics. My name is Neeb. Today, we're going to be doing a lot of first impressions. We've got four fragrances with some first impressions, and we're going to be doing a comparison to Aqua de Jo Parfum versus the brand new release, or this. This is the brand new release versus the old school. So, hope you guys had a great Monday, start of the week. I got to soak up the sun today. I'm still pasty white, but it is what it is. So, hopefully, tomorrow. I have plans on going to the beach again or the lake out here in Michigan. So my scent of the day today was Latafa's Badia Al Oud Sublime. I'm pretty impressed, not going to lie. There was uh, a couple of people who were telling me that they weren't really getting much longevity, sense of sense. But for me, I got a solid eight hours. I'm ready to review this bad boy because it's, it's solid. It's solid. I got a solid eight hours. I mean, I could smell myself for three hours plus. I actually got a compliment at this where, while wearing this rather from a dude as well at the gym. Like they could sniff me. They could smell me for sure. What's going on, Nima? What's up, chat? Good to see you guys. See, there was a little bit of commotion. Kyler, I appreciate you. Hit that like button. Yes, sir. Muhammad Salah. What? 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 Look that song up. What? What? Anyway, the new. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what he was wanting. I don't blame you, Mohammed. <laughs> What's going on, Fragrance Volume? H-Town does it better. Good company. Good company in here tonight. What's going on, Joel? Good to see you again, bud. I listened, man. I heard you. I heard your cries, Joel. Love you, bud. What's going on, Denim? Denim Fragrance. Yes, you finally got in. All right. Rasasi Jasmine Wisp. Interesting. Yes, let's talk about coconut daiquiri. Coconut daiquiri, my fragrance with Sphinx, is now restocked. You guys, I love this juice. I love it. I was honestly, I'm really disappointed when I can't wear it because I have to test these other fragrances. But I have a couple of those travel sprays and I take it everywhere I go. I'm too nice though because I end up giving them away, giving away like seven. It's ridiculous, but they deserve it. So some of my buddies really wanted to know what it smells like and I did it. Wa alaikum as -salam, Kareem. Good to see you, brother. Oh, today I'm rocking my, uh, uh, this is the, what the hell is this called? From the Armoff fragrance. <laughs> I wore this from the Armoff fragrance as a troll. Let's see, where's my little cat? Ah, she's not here today. But yes, this came straight off of the Armoff bottle, Armoff Hunter Killer. So in case you were wondering whether or not you should buy it, I think you should. I think you should. Definitely not wearing this for real, guys. Thought it would be funny. Good advice yesterday. I grabbed that Argos Danier 100 ml. As of now, it's sold out. Yeah, man. Yeah. I think they have uh, Brevido de la Cacha as well. That one might be sold out soon. It's not that. It's not the best for sure. I think it's like a green take on leather. A little bit unusual, but pretty good. Got my little, my little potion here. And let's go ahead and get started, all right? So first fragrance we're going to look at and talk about is going to be the Aqua de Jo Parfum. Is coconut daiquiri better than JPG? 100%. Performs better too. I personally love coconut daiquiri. So you're asking the wrong one. <laughs> but yeah, man. Yes. I def definitely think so. If you're looking, it's more, more niche. That's for sure. So yes, I would say so. It's uh, lemon, lime, sugar, coconut, rum. Uh, it's perfectly unisex. Some might say it's slightly masculine. Some might say perfectly unisex. I believe it perfectly unisex and a lot of women and men just, they loved it. Nobody had really anything bad to say, which is successful, I think, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, it's been great. It's been great. So you guys can check it out. You can use my code as well. Uh, Aromatics will save you 15% off. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the fragrance we're going to be looking at today is Aqua de Jo Parfum. More importantly, how the hell does this compare to the old one? I know a lot of you guys love the old one. I'm I'm impartial. I, I think it's good. It's definitely one of the better ones from the line. And it's more grown up. You've got that uh, incense-y vibe. It's, it's a churchy vibe. It's Aqua de Jo with a churchy vibe. It's got incense and myrrh and resins. The most interesting of the line, for sure. And then they went ahead and switched it up on us. And they pulled this little bad boy out. So let's take a look at the differences in the notes. So the notes that you're looking at right now is for Aqua de Jo Parfum 2023. I'm going to quickly shift over. As you can see, we have those three notes in the in the, the only difference. Bam. So this is the old school one, is that incense. But like I said, y'all, the signature is the incense. Well, you'll see that instead of the incense, however, they put olibanum, which is some gum resins. 
So I really can't imagine that it would be much different, honestly, because resins, incense, I mean, it could be olibanum. That's burning as incense. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So here we go. I got the 4.2 boy. I will say I like the presentation a lot more. The presentation is very nice, frosted. It's like a ombre gray to clear transition. Very nice. That's a different. Let me see. Yeah. I like the magnetic cap more on the old school one. This snaps into place. Feels a little cheaper. Not going to lie. I love the whole magnet thing. No big deal. Not a deal breaker. That's it. We're done. We're not going to sniff in it. <laughs> All right, let's check it out, guys. Here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, very similar. Very, very similar. Very similar. Hmm, a little bit more crisp, a little bit more refreshing. More balanced, more balanced. Smoother. Okay. That's kind of one of the things that I didn't like about this one is it just felt like a sore thumb. Like you smash your toe and it's just throbbing. That's how it smelled. It was an aquatic fragrance with something just throbbing, uh, the incense. So let me remind myself. So did it smell good? Yes, in my opinion, it did. But it was very, it was like a sharp left turn at the end of a road. It was strange, but it still smelled good. Yeah, still feel that way. But the new one. It's way more flow. Rather than a sharp left, it's a curve. Very similar, though, y'all. Very similar. You know what the difference? The, for those of you who are more advanced, probably a lot of you on the on my channel or that watch me, you're going to sense the difference, and it's smoother. It's honestly better. It is honestly better. The Olibatum is not as smoky as the incense, obviously, but it's pretty much the same fragrance. I honestly, I wasn't buying it, you know? It might be a little subdued in the opening, but I'm not going to rate the performance yet. So far, I'm honestly pretty impressed uh, because this is one of the cases where everybody is really right. It, this is pretty much the same thing. It just seems a little bit uh, more transparent, but also seems way more balanced. But they're so damn close. Which one do I like better? I like the way that the new one flows together. I definitely like the way this one flows together. This seems like a more appropriate or properly blended fragrance. Definitely. So for those of you who are like dying about this or diehard fans or whatever, I really think that it's just as good. I mean, the only thing or the factor that might be, uh, I'm not sure, do your own research is going to be the performance. but. Really smells good. It smells just like it, y'all. It really smells just like it. So let's see what people have to say about it. I love it. Denim, it's very nice. Last year was nicer, it being woody, wooden. Maybe you were talking about. Neeb showing off. Showing off. What guns, boy? <laughs> what you talking about, man? <laughs> you want to make them dance, man? <laughs> What's going on, Francisco? How you doing, man? How you doing? Uh, I'll be ordering it today. You have a discount code. Oh, yeah. Coconut Daiquiri. Yes, it's Aromatics, my channel name. A-R-O-M-A-T-I-X. You get 15% off. Luis, what's going on from Chile? Beautiful, man. Send me some food. I love Latin food. Montrese, what's going on, Montrese? Is Montrese in the house? Scotty, what's happening, Scotty? Would you say coconut daiquiri is similar to City Rhythm Miami? I would absolutely not say that. Uh, I honestly, I like City Rhythm Miami. I really like that one. That one smells like a realistic, like pina colada vibes without the pineapple. Genuinely love that stuff. <clears throat> so Denim says that the parfum, Denim is also a reviewer, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know. He says that the parfum sits closer to the skin. I'll be testing it. Everybody's skin is a little bit different. Regardless, I'm always spraying on clothing. Always. Montrese, what's happening, brother? ADG Parfum is weaker contender to Profumo. Poor longevity. It's a little disappointing if that's the case. But Michael, the, another factor is that I just sprayed it. And I, you know what? I'll go ahead and waste a couple for the homies. 
Got to waste a couple for the homies. And I'm not talking about the fragrance by fragrance world. All right. And then we'll let it mature. Damn, I just got it all up in my potion. But so we'll let it sit. And in two weeks, I'll rock it. I'm not in a rush to wear that one. And we'll see how it performs. And we'll go from there. <laughs> Joel says that Ahmed Al Maghribi Qaf is fire. If you guys don't know what Ahmed Al Maghribi Qaf is, thank you, Joel, for the recommendation. Um, it is fire. It is Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce Beast Mode. I put that in my reel today. Um, that stuff is so strong, though. You guys got to be careful. But the real comment goes to this one. So, Joel, step your game up because Kyler's got you beat. <laughs> Kyler's got you beat, brother. All right, let's scroll down. It's aromatics. Thank you, Lindsay. Appreciate it. How much is we benching? Too much to count, baby boy. You know that most of the population actually just benches uh, 135. So if you're benching 135, you're or actually most of the population can't even. So if you're benching 135, then you're already doing most of the, more than the population. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But anyway, just bounced up. Okay, Monkey Special. That's an awesome fragrance. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. The next fragrance that we're going to be talking about is Azaro Wanted Eau de Parfum. So I've got pretty much most of the lineup. I saw that this was the latest release that I haven't seen much talk about. I also picked up next to it the Most Wanted Parfum. So I didn't put this on the thumbnail. I didn't put it in the title, but it's going to be a first impression as well. We'll do that here now. Okay, this is Azaro Most Wanted. Let's check it out. So first, let's go ahead and share the notes with you guys. We're done with that. We're done with that. Share screen. Here we go. So aromatic, woody, fresh, spicy, and earthy. We've got notes of... We definitely got more notes. Let's see. Let's see what we have. Let's see if it smells good. I like the chrome. Cheesy bottle, but I like it. Ooh, very nice. This has immediately, it has some, some vibes of like that new Ralph Lauren, the one with the absinthe. What is it called? Ralph Lauren and YSL YEDP vibes. Um, what is it? Their newest release. Uh, let's see. What is it getting compared to? One million lucky. Okay. It's definitely bubblegummy sweet. At the top there with the juniper. Juniper blast. I think the one of the newest Ralph Lauren flankers opens up with a crap ton of, of juniper and absinthe. It smells like sugar crystal. Like literally crystallized sugars. This is getting much sweeter. Very sweet. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. A hefty dose of sage. I got juniper. I'm getting something that's candied, maybe like a hazelnut vibe. Honestly, this is very, very nice. It definitely does remind me of fragrances like One Million Lucky. Similar, very, very similar, actually. As it's drying down, it's getting even closer. I can see the Born in Roma. I can definitely see the Born in Roma. Mostly One Million Lucky, for sure. The opening, it was way more of that juniper. Very nice. It's a designer. There's not much more I can say, honestly. But what I can say is that it smells very nice. Very similar to One Million Lucky with a punch. This is stronger than One Million Lucky. And that's my beef with One Million Lucky. A lot of people report that it performs like crazy. And I've never gotten more than three to four hours with One Million, uh, with one million Lucky. And that's even in my territory of like 14 sprays. The Armoff that this came off of performs better. This smells like a stronger version of 1 Million Lucky. I really like this. I really, really like this. This is a solid, solid release. Redundant? Maybe. Just because I have Stronger With You, I have 1 Million Lucky, I have The Most Wanted, I have a lot of them. It might be a little bit redundant, to be honest with you guys. If you already have 1 Million Lucky, um, or if you're like me and 1 Million Lucky doesn't perform, this is stronger off the top, much stronger off the top. 
Not bad. Not bad. All right. Let me give some ratings for you guys. As far as the way the Aqua de Jo smells in the opening, that was a nine. Really nice. Really smooth. Much smoother than the original or the Profumo. Longevity might suffer a little bit. Um, wanted. The opening. I think that one's about an eight, seven, five. These are hits. Both of these are hits. Maybe even a nine and a half. Uh, sweeter fragrances are more interesting to me, to be honest, though. Um, aquatic. This is way more grown up style. Way more grown up. Gentlemen, you're going to the office. Perfect office fragrance. Perfect. This is like you're going out. Maybe even a club banger, guys. This smells very strong. Club banger, for sure. It's a nine. Genuinely a nine for me right now. So very nice. Very, very nice. Let's check it out. Ertis Teresu. Thanks for the Black Phantom Wreck. Elevated scent that I wouldn't have checked out if you didn't point me to it. Salute, brother. <laughs> Off to bed. I hope you have a good day tomorrow, bud. Love you, man. You're not wrong about cough, Joel. I agree. Yes, it's good to see you here, Danim. It's been a while. Yeah, man, that cough by Ahmed Al Maghribi is strong. Strong. I know Oud Store has it. Uh, I don't know if Fragbar has it, but do your own research. If you want to pick it up from either Fragbar or Oud Store, we have coupon codes. Find all that stuff down in the description. For the price point, around 50 to 60, beast mode, yeah, it's crazy. Dude, honestly, there are a couple of brands that need an Oud flanker, and not just specifically or exclusively to the East. Str Spice Bomb, how have you guys not done Oud? Um, Stronger with you, they already got on the boat. Aqua de Jo, and uh, I mean, really a lot of them. Like, why hasn't Azaro, this this brand right here, this flanker, they could do it too, man. It would be amazing. Can you imagine this DNA with Oud? It would be awesome. I mean, come on, guys. Seriously, think about this. Creed Aventus Oud. Think about Creed Aventus Oud. Watch me sound so stupid if they already have it. <laughs> no, not Creed Royal Oud. Creed Aventus Oud. Wow, that would slap. Seriously. Ohio in the house. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do agree with others. Coconut daiquiri is, is, I like slightly over Coco Loco. Love that sugary sweet note in the dry down. Okay, I respect that. Both fragrances are great fragrances. I do have to admit. I genuinely enjoy both. I'm going to be partial towards mine, obviously, but I enjoy both. I agree. Loving every bit of it. Love you all, seriously, for the support and love. I'm putting, putting, putting some work in here. All right, let's go ahead and jump into something a little bit different, a little bit more high end. But if we're being realistic, uh, these fragrances, ladies and gentlemen, are niche fragrances, which you can have or buy them for the price of some of these designers. So discounters, you can find them seventy to eighty dollars, and you're getting a niche. You know, niche. They specialize in fragrances. That's what niche means. All right, so let's go ahead and start with Oud Lemon Mint. It's been sitting there on the shelf. I've been hearing amazing things about it. So let's go ahead. Little update for you guys. Uh, since we pulled out the Creed Aventus, I wanted to update you guys on the Creed Aventus Clone War, okay? Um, for those of you that are new to the live stream, by the way, I will address a lot more questions that are unrelated to today's uh, impressions. At the end, I reserve about 10 minutes for questions, okay? So I apologize if I haven't seen your comment or acknowledged. Not ignoring, I promise, making this as efficient as possible. So back to the Clone Wars talk. I'm going to be doing that Clone Wars very soon. Um, unfortunately, it looks like it might have to be held off for another week or so, just because there are so many more dupes that are still, still on the way. So I had to get it. I had to. I had to do a comparison. There was, there was talks about the F batch being much better and yada, yada. Got the F batch. Um, little update. This is an absolute hell no. Just don't even bother. Okay. Um, I had a couple wearings of this bad boy right here. This is an old bottle, y'all. Look at that. Almost drank through it. And then obviously, excuse me, obviously we've got all the Club Day Nuis. They will be tested. And then the Supremacies. Guys, don't sleep on silver. A lot of people have been reporting uh, poor performance with it. Something tells me it's nose blind. I wore it for two days in a row. And the second day that I wore it at hour 11, they were telling me I filled the entire place up. And the attention I got from all these fragrances, it was only this one. The attention I got, it was not normal. 
It was not normal, I swear. I haven't worn a fragrance like that in a long time where you just feel the aura, the vibe of the women just shifted, y'all. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is going on? So I love this one, okay? I'm not saying it's going to be the winner, but I love this one. And it is closer to the old school batches. It's got a – it's amped up with the Ambroxan for sure. And I think that that's what ends up happening. If you spray it under, on your chest or under your nose or direct line, you'll go nose blind. So with that one, I recommend spraying like – the arms and maybe, you know, like the behind and stuff like that. But that's a great one. So let's go ahead and jump into the next fragrance. Okay. Brother Kai. Good to see you, brother. Havivi. Bupesh. Ask in the end, my love. Please. <laughs> but it's okay. Dolce Gabbana, the 1 EDP or Dior Rome Intense for all day. For all day? For all day, every day? No, neither. I mean, I'd rather you go with Dolce & Gabbana, the 1 EDP. But if you want to actually be heard and smelled, Dior Rome Intense for sure. Dior Rome Intense, you're going to get more longevity out of. For me, performance takes the cake, so Dior Rome Intense. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next, next fragrance. Let's do it, guys. Here we go. Mancera Zerud Lemon Mint. Here we go. So very, very interested in this one. I cannot wait. Here we go. Crazy atomizers. Ooh. Holy smokes, that's strong as hell. Something smoky already, man. Peppers. A lot of peppers. I can't even put this to my nose, y'all. <laughs> this is strong. A lot of almond. A lot more almond than I thought there would be. A lot of almond. Not as lemony as I was hoping. It's more in the realm of like a sweet lemon head type of candy. I'm getting a hefty dose of orange, mandarin, and pepper. In the opening, this is what I get. This is exactly what I get in the opening, guys. Lemon drops. Right here. So in the opening, you get this. Oh, wait, no, you don't get 5% off your first purchase. But you're going to get these bad boys right here. That is exactly what I'm smelling right now. Which smells good. It smells very good. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Lemony. Really no mint. It's strange. This isn't... Um, I was expecting... So this is what I was expecting. I was expecting something bright, citrus, a little bit sharp, uh, not too sharp. Maybe some oud there, but this is far from that. This is a denser fragrance. I wouldn't really call this one a summer fragrance. I would call this more spring and fall. Definitely more spring and fall. The almond right off the top just adds that slightly cherry vibe. Almond sometimes makes fragrances come off my skin like ambergris because it, it pops off. For me, almond is super, super loud, and this is that. Very loud. Uh, coriander, I'm getting more of an herbaceous type of pepper for sure. What are people rating this one as far as seasons go? Yeah, more spring and fall. Okay. Daytime, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. I can see the resemblance to like the Guerlain uh, DNA. Reason being is because Guerlain uses that almond and they use the citruses and it's pretty much similar family categories. So let's see. So, yeah, you could see some similarities for sure. Leather, almond, citruses. But I would imagine, well, for the most part, the Guerlain fragrances are not nearly as strong as something like this. Very nice. Very nice. Almond, lemon, sour drops. Uh, not sour drops. It's not uh, sour. Lemon drops. So far, just straight up creamy lemon drops. Not too creamy, though. Let me take retract the creamy because as soon as I say creamy, you might think lactonic or something like that. No, it's musky. So it has no, no, no relation towards lactose or milk or anything like that. Texture-wise. Texture-wise, it's creamy. It's like a mousse. So it's like a lemon drop mousse. Not bad. Not bad. Not as refreshing as I would hope it to be. Summer and fall. Very nice. Very nice. One of the best? I don't know. I think that's a future video. The best of my Mancera collection. I've got about nine, so we'll see. Let's move on to the next one. 
Best patchouli oriented. We'll get to that. Probably not for me. This man, Sarah, you're testing. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, Denim, I know you're in Canada. You get a lot of cooler weather. So it might actually be. It, it, it smells like lemon drops, bro. Lemon drops in woods. Hello, bro. Thanks for the reviews. Thank you for watching them. Best clone for a good iris note and versatile occasion. Okay, I usually take it in the end, but it's okay. Um, it's going to be for iris, uh, our moths. What is it called? Uh, this is why I like to stick to topic. I'll come back to that one, brother. I'll come back to that one. My brain is not switched into clone mode yet, man. Not a fan of the almond note. It is, it is pretty strong. It is pretty strong, but I'm hoping it's going to fall off because when it's too strong, I'm not a fan either, but I'm hoping it's going to fall off. And if it does, it should get better. Leather, oud. I feel the leather and the oud in the backdrop and the musk, amber. So we'll see. I'm letting it sit with this one. This one I'm letting sit. You know, I did smell it, uh, Austin. I did smell it in the initial impression, surprisingly good quality and close. But the only thing that I will say is that some of those are, are lackluster in performance. So I'm I'm working on wearing them all and I'm just going to put them all in one video. As far as the DNA goes, brother, it was great. It's very close. I got you. Inshallah. God willing. What up, Neeb? Hope everyone is having a great night. I hope you are too. And I hope you're smelling good too. All right. So let's continue. Top X, the answer to your question is yes. Let's move on to the next fragrance, and it's going to be Lemon Lime. I'm hoping this one is fresher. I'm hoping it's fresher, y'all. I'm looking for a freshie. I want a lemon freshie from Mancera. I will say, though, that this last week wearing Aventus, I've loved it. I really have. It's been great. It's been great. I love Aventus. I mean, I hate the marketing, the price range, and all that shit, but I love Aventus. So let's check this one out. Okay. Mm. All right. Don't judge it yet. So here we go. We got a referee looking bottle. And let's get right into it. I don't know how I feel about that lavender and lemon combo. I feel like this might come off cleaner like in the beginning. Let's find out. Let's find out. That's enough. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Sour lemon. It's a little off. It's a little off. Hmm. I wouldn't wear this, man. I really wouldn't wear this. It doesn't smell bad. But the floral, there's just too many florals here. Aromatic, floral, citrus. It really does smell like cleaning product. And there are some notes that are almost scavenging the fragrance, fragrance, but it's it's just you know just teeter totting in between the two realms too closely. Like one second I'll be like cleaner, the next second I'll be like, wait a minute. No, I'm not willing to to go through that for this one. Not crazy about it. Doesn't smell bad. You know what it smells like? It smells like lemon and lavender. That's what it smells like. It smells like a cleaning product. Yeah, this one's really simple. Very simple. Literally smells like if I were to take the essential oil of lemon and lavender and mix it. Like, no, nothing, nothing to write home about, man. Definitely not. Um, I like the Oud Lemon Mint way more than this one. Way more. Let's see how it dries down. It's got a candied feel behind everything, too. It's headache inducing, to be honest. No, for me, that's a no-go. If you like that one, cool. For me, it's a no-go, though. So since, since that was a quick flop, I'm going to get into the next one. And this is why I'm going to buy decants from now on. <laughs> so let's go into Zaro Most Wanted. Most Wanted. Our farm. Since we have it here, I might as well do a first impression. Why not? It's an older fragrance, so I wasn't really pressed on putting it on the thumbnail and stuff, but this is the first time I smell it. So let's see, I love the most wanted. I really do. Wanted by night gets the most attention. It's the best one of them all for multiple factors. Obviously compliments and attention plays a role. It definitely does. Performance plays a huge role. And uh, redundancy also plays a role too because the most wanted 
has a lot of similarities to me to like Stronger With You by Emporio Armani and all that. So Wanted by Night is a little bit more unique. It does have some similarities to like Spice Bomb Night Vision EDP. If you like Spice Bomb Night Vision EDP, that's a better version of it, genuinely. So let's go with this one. Oh, sprayed right away. Okay. Vanilla Woody Spicy. Interesting. Much spicier than the Most Wanted. I thought this would be closer to the Most Wanted, the all black bottle. Much spicier. There definitely is more of a zing. And if I'm being honest, this opens up, you know what? This smells a lot like Ensemble Silver. Maybe that's why. Okay, let me break this down really quick. So this one has a little bit of the Wanted by Night DNA and Most Wanted. In the opening, I get Fruity Zing. Could be the, the ginger, but I'm pretty sure it's a little bit more than that. I get some fruity vibes. I still get the toffee vibes as well. So it's the same DNA. It's almost like they blended both. And on Psalm Silver, I just reviewed it as the most wanted black one. The notes for on Psalm Silver has uh, bergamot at the top. So what I noted with that one is that in the opening, it had just a little bit of a vibe of wanted by night. But as it dried down, it got into the most wanted. It was almost 90% as it dried down. But in the opening, like I said, it reminded me of the other one. Now what I'm thinking is it might actually be this. Might. Because this one opened up like Wanted by Night. And as it's drying down, it's getting closer to the most wanted. Interesting. Let me show you guys what fragrance I'm talking about. It's a steal of a deal. This, this fragrance right here is a gem cheapie on some silver. All right, this smells a lot like, like I said, I mean, let's look at the opening. So here we go. Bergamot, cardamom, divana, lavender, vanilla, amber, and patchouli, right? So yeah, people are comparing it to Wanted by Night, the most wanted. And let's check out the notes. So cardamom, toffee, and amberwood. Whereas on some silver, opens up with a citrus as well. So what are we getting with that citrus? Well, let's go look at Wanted by Night. Oh, actually, it has two thumbs down for it. More citruses in the opening. Still have that lavender, fruity notes. A bit, a bit more notes for sure. Anyway, this one smells freaking amazing. This one is like somewhere in between both. I think I might actually like this more than the most wanted. Something more interesting in this one. I really like this one. Would I like, would I pick this up over the original? Hmm. Or the most wanted? Because I have stronger with you intensely and absolutely in all of that, I've smelled the most wanted. I get it in, in most of those fragrances. Honestly, to my nose, they're very similar. Uh, they all have a little bit of their differences. This one, in my opinion, is more interesting. Yes, I like it. At the end of the day, they're all pretty close, though. They're all pretty close. If you have one, you don't really need them all. But if you're a collector like me, I definitely think this is a better one than uh, Most Wanted, in my opinion. It just has that spicy zing. And the zing, when it pops off your skin, more noticeable, more head-turning, uh, more attention-grabbing, really. And that's what this one has. That's the, the head-turning factor of Wanted by Night. So that's what that, that one's got. <laughs> the puppy. Oh, she's getting vocal now. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it. Coconut Daiquiri was the best one out of all of these. <laughs> Pick it up. Sphinxfragrances.com. Use my coupon code. It's Aromatics for 15% off. Now I'm going to answer some questions. Let's talk about it. Here we go. Khalid Hussain. What do you think about fragrance oils and atros? I like them. I love them. Um, Luxador makes some fantastic Atros. Luxador makes fantastic ones. A lot of companies. Arabian Oud makes some great ones. And then also, um, I don't know if you've ever heard of Ensar Oud, which is E-O. Check them out. E Let me look them up real quick. This stuff is so damn expensive, dude. But they're all handmade. They're all real, like straight up from the sap of the trees. But I mean, you're talking about $400 like per, let's see. 
Amazing. Oh, can't be found. Well, let's go to the perfumes. Well, you wanted oils. Anyways, check them out. All right, all right, all right. Got a ton of wanted by night. Sure do. It's pretty rare that I find a fragrance I don't like. Ah. What's going on, Lonnie? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Look at that little baldy. Look at that. <laughs> Hi. What's up, dude? You're going to fill my tank up with freaking dog hair, man. Oh, Frenchie wants some attention. All right, what are you going to look up, Fry? What are you going to look up? Azaro, wanted by night. <laughs> Coconut daiquiri. <laughs> Get the fudge out of here. What? Okay. What's going on, Fragrance Dude? Good to see you, man. Uh, on some silver, I just got it. I found it to be okay, like most wanted, with a touch of wanted by night, right? Yes, in the opening. Louis Cardon, sacred vibes. Interesting. I'll have to look into that that brand. Ryan, I got this last week, and it's fire. I have Azaro also. Azaro gives me uh, Nagcha, <laughs> but incense boss vibe. Other than that, they're pretty damn close. They are pretty damn close, man. And both really, really good. I have not tried any of these, brother. Sorry, Crystal. Or, sorry, sister. <laughs> I watched a documentary about Oud and I'm sad it no longer exists. Yeah, man. Unfortunately, the Oud that we get is synthesized. But I mean, in 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 uh, you know some aspects, you can look at it for what it is. It's still Oud, although the process is you know sped up. But it's just like you know a lot of yeah, it sucks. It really does. I have not tried Bahara niche niche. Do you know any? Do you know of any Dolce Gabbana light blue intense? Um, I think Mason Malambro would have done it, if anybody. Hi, baby deer. Yes, he definitely is a baby deer. Need by Kayla Platinum, full review. You got it, Anthony. I appreciate you, brother. I respect that fragrance, dude. That's cool. I don't think it smells... I honestly think it smells great. I think it smells amazing. For the price point, it's crazy good. 100 mLs for sub 30? Yeah. Fan... Fantastic. Favorite Latofa summer fragrance. Um, there's quite a few of them. I love Maher Legacy. I wish the performance was a little bit better. Qaid al Fursan. Um, Hayati by Latofa is a great Invictus Aqua clone. Uh, Najdia is a, a second tier. I'd put that under Hayati. It's a pretty good one. Just got Hinter, oh, Hunter Killer Bullet. Yes, squad representing Hunter Killer Bullet. <laughs> I hope so too, man. I genuinely like it more than the original. Ow, dude. What's up? What's up? You want to say hi again? Come on, boy. <laughs> you had enough, man. What's up? Um, Let's see. Neeb, do you have Mancera Sicily? That is one that I'm going to be sampling. I learned my lesson. I'm not going to be getting any more full bottles of that. Um, an interesting thing, you guys, they have a five pack of AMLs on Mancera's actual website. It's for $80, $80. You get five packs or five of them, five eight mls. Um, yes, puppy crystal. It is a puppy. Well, he's not actually, he's a grandpa, freaking bald headed grandpa, grumpy. He's Mr. Grumpy, this guy. Bro, that's crazy. He got on some silver for 17. That's a steal. My hair legacy for sure. Absolutely. I like the DNA of that one more than I do Parfums de Marley Sedley. Sedley is a bit flat. Uh, Maher Legacy has more peppers, so it's sharper, more head-turning factors. I like peppers. I love peppers. Yeah, there a lot of them are getting discontinued. It's, it's pretty difficult, but the thing is, is that um, if you find people that do cover these types of fragrances, uh, I would say stick to them if they know what they're talking about, because a lot of these brands rebottle in new packaging, which I'm usually on top of it for those reasons, because of avoiding all that. So unfortunately it's a revolving door. One comes in, one goes out, one comes in, one goes out. But the good thing is that usually on the come out and come in, uh, that's what she said, uh, they get better. They get better each time, so. Legs three days a week and in between I squeeze in chest, back and buys and shoulders. So legs, chest uh, chest and tries, back buys, legs, 
shoulders, and then repeat. Chest, legs, so legs rotate every third day. And in between every third day, which is a leg day, you do chest, back, shoulders. And the sub, sub things. Uh, George, the best Aqua de Joe clone. Hmm. Do I want to tell you? Do I want to tell you? Honestly, it's the closest DNA, but it just performs like crap, man. Tell him, Jared. Only 48 likes. We got 100 in the in the chat. 100. You know what? You don't even have to be in the chat. Just hit that like, okay? <laughs> um. So whoever's asking about the coconut daiquiri samples, unfortunately, we're only doing travel sizes, but uh, I'm not sure if they're offering the samples, but you won't be disappointed in the 10 mLs. And you could use that code, 15% off aromatics, so relatively cheap. What's going on with Nebras? Sometimes discontinuation, sometimes hypes. Pretty close to uh, Billy Eilish Eilish. Pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> Is Amber Oud Rouge worth the 540, worth the price? Honestly, that's one of the reasons why I haven't even tested it yet. I'm waiting for the Clone War for that one. I will be picking it up, uh, not because I want to, for sure, because the price is ridiculous, but I will be picking it up for that Clone War. We're going to do Aventus. Aventus is the next one on hand, and then we'll do the Baccarat. Appreciate you, Jay. If I could like your comment, I would. If I could hit a like for all your comments, I would, okay? <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, Black Origami is a great dupe. Black, wait, uh, no, go with... Just Jack's version, but it's so hard to find that one. It's called Just Jack Black Orchid. No, not Black Orchid. Orchid Noir. Orchid Noir. Let's see. Best dupe. Yeah. Oh, crap. It's expensive as hell. Droma Shop is out of stock of it as well. That's the best one, though, man. Honestly, that's the best one. There's a website called European Beauty by B that has it. I don't know how safe you feel about it, but it's $40, but it's genuinely the best dupe. Otherwise, the only one I know is Oud 24 Hours. Let me show you. Here are your two options. I got you. Just one second. This one smells just a little bit cheaper, but it is, it is, it's a decent, it's a decent dupe of uh, Black Orchid. And then the other one would be this one right here. Just Jack Orchid Noir. By far the best one. Hey, from Canada. What's going on, man? One hand gun. Which Oud for Glory dupe? Fragrance World or Latafa? Oud for Glory? Honestly, Odyssey. Our Moff Odyssey Oud. So damn strong. What's up, mama? You know what? Ooh. Okay. I'm going to go grab a puppy for you guys. <laughs> Because this puppy is about to make me lose my ish. And I'm not ready to hang it up yet. So let me go grab her. Maybe y'all can say hi to Mocha. Let's bring Mocha. But yes, Odyssey Oud. Let me show you guys really quick. I just made the video. I reviewed all of the new, all of the Odysseys, actually. The six of them. I just filmed it this morning. Inshallah, God willing. It's going to post within the next week and a half. Six Odyssey fragrances by Armoff. And just tell you guys the lowdown on it. But I'll show you the fragrance. All right, all right. Calm your horse. Hold it. Here you go. This fragrance right here. Super beast mode. Better better than Oud for Glory, honestly. Damn, they get big. Holy smokes. Here she is, y'all. The bear. <laughs> Here she is. Say hi, Mocha. This is Mocha. She's about four months. She's a Pressa Canario. Is there a dupe for Initio Rehab? Honestly, man, go with Spice Bomb Original. Spice Bomb Original is amazing. It smells pretty damn close. The best Oud for Happiness clone for this gentleman right here, Khaled, the best one is by Fragrance World, and it's called Happiness Oud, the best one. 
And even then, it's not that close, about 70%. What's up, mama? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> All right. What breed is that? Presa Canario. Yeah, she's growing really fast, man. She's growing really, really fast. She's definitely going to be. Uh, I think her mom weighs about 180 pounds and her dad's like 220. They're AKC, which is American Kennel Club, so they're certified. Um, Mohammed is asking, which Aventus clone has a smoky vibe? This does. A, a Fanon Supremacy Silver. Snickers. Hey, Snickers, come here. And then... Oh my God, the OG Club Dana Weed, don't even bother y'all. Smells like lemon cleaner pledge. But the limited edition Parfum, also pretty smoky. I love it. Um, Laventure, I've got the Lintense on the way. This is the original one. The original one is meh. Not bad. Not that smoky. More lemony, not that close. It's not that close. Does it smell good? Yeah, it smells great. But not enough birch, if any, at all, really. I can smell like jasmine or something in that one. It is a side effect clone, but they have a better one called After Effect. After Effect is amazing. Hello from Colombia. Welcome. Danny. Um, Rosanna Mateo, number five. Ishqa Shiyukh Gold or Al Noble Amir? Uh, Ishqa Shiyukh Gold is more baby cat. Ishqa Shiyukh is more baby cat. And the, they're, they smell very similar. The main difference is the suede. One has suede, so it adds like a, almost like a benzene accord, which is just uh, uh, gasoline. Um, I don't really care for it. It's slightly animalic. But let me show you which is the best dupe for Rosendo Mateo number five. It's called... Of course, it's only at the Oud store. But, oh, okay. Not bad of a price. Decent. But it's the best dupe right now. Off of initial impression. Hey, sit down, mama. This right here. Rouge 5. So far, the best one. And you guys know I have the discount. Aromatics, 10% off. So, for $40, it's really good. So, speaking of, I should probably pull that one out this week. But, anyway. Yeah, it smells terrible, Omar. It's very it's actually one of the one of the very few fragrances that have got me negative um feedback. Genuinely negative feedback. Yeah, you definitely did the right thing. I mean, granted, Nick, if you get him the EDP or the parfum, can't go wrong. That one's pretty good too. Atuf. Atuf, I believe it to be... Dude, here, let me show you. I'll show you right now. Oh, right here, leather. See that leather? Fragrance notes. Okay. Let's go to baby cat, baby back ribs. Leather is also suede. So here you go, suede. All right, now let's go to Rosendo Mateo number five, which smells similar, so I don't blame you. But this is the main difference, the reason why I'm just like, nah. Watch it have leather in there. I'll slap myself, seriously. <laughs> no, no leather. So that's the main difference, Joel. This is a floral amber. That's an animalic leather amber. I honestly have not tried Animal Animal. I have not tried it. A lot of people saying it's uh, close to Thierry Mugler. Guys, I've got a Thierry Mugler pure malt clone coming this week. Hold the freaking phone. And it might be better than Starman Nebula. Yes. So I'm super, I cannot wait to crack into that biatch. CD it is fire. The limited edition is smoother. But yes, it is fire. I agree. I haven't had Dreamcatcher. This is from Paris Corner. I haven't had it. 
it is a classic. It's, you know, okay, Paul, it doesn't, I personally, like when I rocked it, I was like, okay, but it's so screechy. It's so abrasive. I mean, no, it separates the screechy abrasive smelling men from the clean and good smelling men. No, it's a, it's decent. And if it gets you compliments, that's what's up. And if it doesn't, still what's up. If you like it, that's what's up. That's all that matters. All right, let's go ahead and check out the dry down for Oud Lemon Mint. So here we go. Mancera's Oud Lemon Mint. Much better. Wow, much better. Almost has like a honey feel. Almost literally like it's uh, lemon and honey. But it's the almond. Getting more ambers. I get a woodiness. It's nothing crazy. When you see Oud there, it's really not. It's not the Oud that I know. Oud Lemon Mint. This reminds me of how, like, in the Middle East, every perfume or fragrance is just called Oud. Like, here, you want Oud, and they spray you with, like, Invictus. Because that's what it starts to feel like with a lot of these, but... Yeah, this is, like, a uh, creamy, uh, not lactonic, but creamy, musky leather, uh, almond, vanilla, and lemon. Not bad. Honestly, it's not bad. It's pretty nice. That's it. Pretty nice. Dry down for lemon line. Let's see what it's like. And I can see the resemblances to something Guerlain would use. They love using that. Uh, oh, this one was great, man. I love this fragrance. <laughs> Tonka Cola is really good. Nostalgic. I don't know if I'd ever wear it, but very nice. Come on, man. All right. Let's see. Lemon line. The dry down for this referee. It smells like lemon shaving cream. There you go. It's a fougere, lemon fougere fragrance. Really not that bad. This honestly reminds me of uh, Making Sense by Michael Densmore sweeping up. This is more subdued. More subdued. Yeah, it's a barbershop men's shaving cream that's lemon flavored. Lemon essenced. Lemon shaving cream. That's what it is. Not crazy about it, but it's not the worst thing in the world either. All right. By Montel, I have. By Mancera, I have not. I love honey oud fragrances, or just honey. Yeah, I, I, I don't wear it enough either, but I still have it. <laughs> I haven't touched it, man. Pure Tonka, pure malt, all of them. And not because I don't want to. I mean, I have... I'm, I have purpose of keeping them for sure. I mean, I can compare them. Lafayette Street. Yes, I have. I have. It's a nice fragrance. Very nice fragrance. And um, I used to want it. I don't really want it anymore. It's a grown man, fougere type of fragrance. It smells really nice. Uh, I got the Dua Brands version, which is spot freaking on. But that is one of their better fragrances for men, for sure. I hear you, man. I respect that. It is what it is. Sometimes people can just, you know, they can't get with it. And if you can't get with it, it's okay. I mean, yeah, this is whew. all hail the king. <laughs> Creed of Ventus. Is it a good buy nowadays? I don't know. But I will be reviewing this one as well because this is the F batch. And this is number 500 and 558 of this batch. So relatively new, very new, actually. I have tried exclusive tobacco. It is so good quality, dude. So good quality. You'll be surprised when you sniff it. That one, exclusive saffron, all of them are great dupes of the Carolina Herrera fragrance. Um, yeah. It's just by the time I got them nearing the end of the colder weather, and then it started turning into summertime. So it's like, and then all these releases, you guys, we're getting swamped with releases. It's crazy. It's almost impossible to keep up with like lists. Like I need to start pumping more out because it's like one month I'm done. The next month I got like 10 fragrances that like killed last month's 10 because they're flipping these things like freaking hotcakes faster than free hotcakes at IHOP. Seriously. And they're bangers. That's a problem. It is a problem. It really is a problem. Bro, I like Afnan's quality. I have 9 p.m. Afnan has great quality. Smooth. 
Uh, yes, top X. Uh, take it from top. Well, I, I'm not top G, but <laughs> ornament. Ornament. Ornament is fantastic. I agree with you, C-Mac, but believe it or not, man, there's some people. So for you, for example, let's say you've been in the game for like 10 years. Today, there could be somebody that's literally three months in. And guess what? For them, that Sauvage and BR540 is like, whoa. So we've all had that. But I agree with you. Eventually, in everybody's journey, it becomes that. Uh, oh, you control the Matrix, Joel? I will be reporting you to Romania. Hey, chill out, boy. What's the closest clone to Classy? Blue Day Chanel. For Blue Day Chanel EDT, I would say Al Haramain Blue Edition. For EDP, I would say Armoff's Iconic. Armoff Iconic is great in terms of that dupe. Uh, Mason Alhambra's Blue Day Chance really isn't bad. It really is not bad for EDP. Uh, just doesn't last as long as the Armoff Iconic. Come at me, Neo. <laughs> you having too much fun, Joel. <laughs> I got you, bro. Oh, I just made a video. Uh, the one EDT, but it's the one EDT. Portofino Noir, you guys, gave me six to seven hours, which is more than the original, which for real. Mason, and it's from Mason de Arabia. Under 30 bucks when you use the code, which is aromatics. So let's see. Yeah, you save three dollars. Let's see. I'll show you guys real quick. But I, I sprayed it fourteen times. <laughs> sprayed it fourteen times and got like seven hours. I wore this on Eid, Portofino Noir. The code saves you three bucks. Otherwise, it's thirty bucks. And then if you buy three more, you get each for twenty-five bucks. Do you really want to buy a three? Anyway. From Montel, honey oud from Montel, yeah, yeah, that's my favorite one. But you know what's a, uh, I don't want to say a better version of it is, but for me, better and cheaper. You heard it. I'm gonna just slip this one in here, you guys. There you go. Get it. Ooh, somebody in the apartment's getting their ass beat. Little man's must have not have went to bed on time. <laughs> What's the closest clone? Okay, got that. Pure Malt and Pure Woods, Starman. Yeah, they are very good. I've tried the original, and I'm going to be trying the Fragrance World version, and I'll be trying the Paris Corner version. I don't know if it's the Aqua Amara, though, actually. I don't think it's that one. What's the Dua brand version? I already put a big dent in my Lafayette. Yeah, it's called Dua on Lafayette Street. Dua on Lafayette Street. It's really nice, man. Really nice. Of course. Subscribe. I, I you so if you if you subscribe, everyone shares with each other. Absolutely. It's a good uh good index. Tafakhir is where it's at. I agree, fragrance dude. It's really nice. Surprising at the price. Luxador Shogun is close. Thank you for the help. Yeah, I said I wasn't going to buy it, but you know what? If I do something, I do it all the way or don't do it at all. That's just how I go. Go big or go home, baby. Go big or go home. Yeah, yeah. Fragr <laughs> Solid point. Joel, your spending habit controls the matrix. <laughs> Straight up. Um, I don't think I have. I never really dove too far into uh, polo fragrances, to be honest with you, Khaled. CDNI Iconic makes Blue Day Chanel EDP obsolete. I got both, and Iconic is a much better deal and next to the same thing. Yeah, it deserves, it definitely deserves more conversation for sure. It's not too bad. I'm not crazy about it, but it's not too bad. For me, I love that gourmand. The pistachio sounds amazing. High-end Middle Eastern fragrance you would recommend? Nero by Sidra. 
Nero by Sidra is amazing. And believe it or not, it's only like a buck 25. But of course, we got a coupon code. <laughs> this thing right here. This stuff is beastly, y'all. And it's 200 mLs. 200 mLs for $125. You can get 5% off with my code. Let me show you guys. This smells like a Middle Eastern take on like a more peppery version of like stronger with you intensely and absolutely. It doesn't have booze. That's kind of why I'm saying in between both. Let me show you guys where you can find it. This stuff is amazing, guys. East mode shit. And it's like 200 ml. Well, it is. It's not like. Cedra Nero. You can find it on this website right here. And it's called Cedra Nero. I'll type it on the screen for you guys. Wood, wood. There you go. This is the website. So as you can see, 125 for 200 mLs. You guys, this stuff is, is really nice, really freaking nice and strong as hell. Uh, so here are the notes. Bergamot, black pepper, plum. Then you got rose, divana. You don't really get too much rose. More so about the divana. Um, so tea vibes similar to artemisia. It's in the same family or the same. It's just a different gene. Uh, uh, amber, musk, caramel, vanilla, benzoin, sandalwood. Very good stuff. So that's one I would recommend you can start with. Or Arabian Oud, Arabian Night Silver is a good one. I just did a review on that one to start off with. I'll try and scroll up and get the Brioni. I have not tried any Brioni fragrances. Yes, I do. I honestly believe it's borderline beast mode, if not beast mode. For me, it's been beast mode. So mine has been sitting for, for a little while too. So. Um, you know, when I first started, I used to love it, but now, or as they started producing more and more fragrances, I don't know how I feel about it. I stopped buying from them just because it's just too much to keep up with. I like more of the gourmand fragrances. Their gourmand fragrances are great because you really can't lose with the gourmands. You're getting what you're getting, but as dupes, I don't get them anymore. Dupes. I get the gourmands and the hybrids and tribrids. Those are fun. I have, um, I just reviewed the, I just reviewed the Velour's Low Lights, but, and the review is coming out soon, but unfortunately I can't really find it anywhere. So. Wa alaikum as salam as sabr. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> the scent of my pillow, 5 a.m. Mashallah. Mashallah. I hope you're going to have a great day, man. Just starting your day, bro. Hey, Saqib. Also, what bakhur do you recommend? Um, that's a little rough because there's multiple Bakhur. I don't generally buy a branded Bakhur. I just go to like a local, uh, like a Yemeni market or I'll go to, it's just stores and you, you pick it from tubs, you smell them. So yes, sense of sense has tried Nero and is in love with it. And for that bottle for 200, you guys will not go through that thing. It's a bazooka. The spray atomizer is like all the way to here, y'all. It's crazy. One spray is like four. I hear you, bro. I hear you. Um, This year so far, honestly, there's quite a few. It's quite a few. Uh, obviously, Qa'ad al is going to be there. But aside from that... um. I've got a list that's coming out and it's 10, 10 fragrances that everybody should at least try. And, and I'll, I'll mention plenty of those in that one. The Tux was great as well. The Tux was great. Mahed Legacy. You're going to see me repeating. Al Durham, Al Durham, or however they pronounce it, man, is great as well. Great as well. Why Blue Perfume doesn't have any clones? I know. I know. Not just that one. What's the other one? Sauvage Parfum doesn't have any clones. Yes, fragrance suit. I did get Coco Loco. It is very nice. I liked it. I love. I loved it honestly. And for me, it lasted all day. Everybody's different, man. The Clementine is very natural. Clementine. Okay. I found Oud Lemon Mint a little challenging to wear and quite beastly. It is pretty beastly. Lemon line over it for the summer. I, I wouldn't really wear either of them for the summer, to be honest with you. 
I'm a little let down by lemon lime. And oud lemon mint is pretty good, but it's not what I was thinking it was going to be. Still smells pretty damn good. Very similar to Guerlain style fragrances. A lemon version. Pretty good. I have not. Appreciate it, Neil. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thoughts on Mahogany Woods? I just, I didn't buy it. Go Buckeyes. No hard feelings. Hey, man, all good, bro. <laughs> Michigan State. <laughs> I don't really care. I don't watch any of it. But um, I don't know, man. I'm not really driven to pick up a dupe of a, of a uh, Bed Bath & Body Works fragrance. That's just me being honest. I mean, no insult by it. or I just, I'm not driven to get it at all. I'm amazed how Middle Eastern fragrances have taken over. Yeah. And it's 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 a strong takeover, man. Stronger with you, leather. There is one. It's not the best quality, but there is one. Oud 24 hours gold. Right here. There you go. Majestic gold. Right? Proud of you, absolutely. Is it any good? I loved it. When I first got it, it gave me about four hours, and now it gives me about six to eight max. But I loved it. As far as the DNA goes, it smells great. Cheaper smelling, but it smells great for the price. Not that I know of. Not that I know of, Kavkaz. CHMN Privé. Set of the day, Lalique Ancre Noir Sport. I hope you're in bed or staying home. No, <laughs> <laughs> guess i'm taking out that credit card <laughs> that's hilarious bro um start with sidra bro start with sidra get a feel of the house get a feel of the house first if you like sidra's uh, nero we'll talk later then we can grab you another one make sure to use that code aromatics will save you five percent off but the kova is pretty good as well from sidra um check out besides oh okay Another brand to check out. There's another one. It's called. Um, let me see which one. You should definitely check out Tawak. Tawak has some great fragrances. This one. You should check this one out. It's a little bit pricey, but it smells amazing. I don't remember too much of it, but I remember that I picked this little thing up for $180 because it was worth it. So I can't give you a breakdown, but it just, it was amazing. It's a recommendation. Other than that, uh, Middle Eastern fragrance, I'll show you. The one I mentioned, it's right here. Arabian Night Silver, Arabian Oud, Arabian Night Silver. This is like Parfums de Marley Leighton and Blue Day Chanel had a baby. It smells amazing. Yeah, this stuff is, is amazing. I've got plenty more I can recommend to you, but uh, the prices are not the cheapest. So start with those, man. Start slow. But if you want more Rex, I got you. Just ask. They sure do. The best Tiger clone. Um, I want to do a Clone War, but right now Black Panther from Alexandria is, is great. One of the best. If not. I saw a comment here. One second. I want to address it. All right. Let me scroll down. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up, y'all. Yeah, man. Very nice bottles. All right, man. Toscano leather is great. Favorite leather tobacco? Um, Honestly, Herod is one of my favorites. Parfums de Marley Herod is one of my favorites for sure. I appreciate that, Eugene, but I'm going to go ahead and I got to get those five mLs or those eight mLs, man. But thank you, man. I appreciate it. Fragrance of all sack greater than Big Ten. Okay. Uh, what do you like about Qaad al-Fursan? I just got let off a rave now. Haven't tried it yet. It's supposed to be more pineapple, less woody. It's just very, very smooth, very creamy. 
vanilla or vanilla pineapple and like some kind of baccarati vibe it's really good they, i've heard they have similar similar vibes but i think it's probably better I am from everywhere, Robert. Triple Traders, OudStore.com, Fragrance by CA, OudWoodPerfumes.com, a lot. Saqib, I have, I actually just got Maratir and Ocean and all those. We're going to, we're going to unbox those very soon. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next live stream, have a great day.